Back in 2017, I took this lame job at a lame place, answering to three managers that pretty much loathed each other. Soon I realized that the best part of my work day was the horrible twice daily commute. For 10 miles of my drive, the city had begun widening the state thoroughfare from four lanes to 12. Watching this mess unfold was the best part of my day. On my son's birthday in 2018, I decided to strap a GoPro onto my vehicle because, well, why not? In my head, as I drove to and from work, I imagined a construction video that would go something like this. On Monday, April Fool's Day 2019, my main manager boss told me that they were reorganizing and were deleting my role, and that my last day would be May 31. This was no joke, and I prayed it wasn't. Here is me leaving on my last day in my 2014 Chevy Volt. A friend slash co-worker at the time wanted me to peel out in celebration. He couldn't be outside to watch, so I shot this for him. It felt good to leave forever. No more time vampiring reports. No more performance reviews. No more exhaustive three-hour meetings that could have been an email. No more bureaucratic backstabbing manager bosses. No more sassy marketing gurus. No more commute. Wait a minute. Giving up on the drive just because I had no reason to go to that dreadful place didn't seem right. I already had skin in this game. And two things were certain. I was not going back to work for anyone else and my truck was gonna get these flat spots on the tires from little to no use. Keep in mind that at this time, we were about six months away from hearing anything about wet markets, bat wing soup, a new virus, a new sickness, this boss Fauci, and a pandemic. Regardless, I was a little ahead of the game, already planning to be a shut-in, work at home, work out, and be some kind of creative media person. To keep things real and to keep my tires from getting flat spots, at regularly scheduled intervals, I made the drive through the construction corridor and back, usually stopping at the gym and or Home Depot. But in my head while I drove, I saw and heard this. October 2019, I broke fancy and made this dual camera setup. It wasn't great, but here's what I got. Okay, it was worth a try. Anyway, let's move on. This is when the pandemonious shutdown happened. It seems the only rush hour vehicles in the construction corridor are now highway workers and me. Look at the previous week's drive at the same time. Big difference. 
Because of this lack of traffic over the next two and a half years, the 281 North project became over a year ahead of schedule. Completion was now scheduled for late 2023 rather than the 24-25 time frame. Here's how these final three years went. Once, I tried adding an ND filter, and this happened. Anyway. Crews are still working on landscaping and they refuse to move these barrels out of the HOV lane, drawing this out as long as possible, I guess. But after almost 3,000 miles and a construction corridor, a set of tires, a windshield, and five GoPros, I'm calling it done and done. If you like this type of content, please consider subscribing to Lo-Fi Ambient, where I continue to do shorter, more relaxed drives around my area, the country, and eventually the globe. As a bonus, I also post ambient wallpapers. These have nothing to do with driving, I just like to make them. Check it out. Here's a last panoramic hyperlapse look at the completed Highway 281 North in San Antonio, Texas.